$100. That is what I paid for this eBay mystery pack. And what in the world is this? I just finished opening this very, very interesting $100 mystery pack from eBay, which included, by the way, $6 in shipping. And inside this mystery pack was silver and coins, but it was one of the most interesting and weird mystery packs I have ever opened. Now you guys know I generally don't recommend eBay mystery packs, and this one I wouldn't recommend either, but I do like opening these on the channel so you guys can enjoy the experience with me without having to waste your own money. So if you guys wanna see what's in this mystery pack, definitely stick around for this one because there is some goofy stuff in here and I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you wanna see more videos like this, by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe and help us continue to grow. I really appreciate it and it greatly helps me out. And guys, let's get into it. Let's see what's inside this mystery pack. My channel is sponsored by sdbullion.com. New customers can get their first order of gold or silver at spot by going to sdbullion.com forward slash new. Now I'm really excited to get inside of here because it is supposed to contain silver and I love silver, but also I just want to see if I'm going to get my money back because we paid $100 plus $6 shipping. So will we get 106? Probably not. We almost never do, but it's always fun to open these up and see what we have inside. Now I did already previously open this and I put my hand in there to rifle around to find an invoice, which I did find with my info on it. So I'm glad I pulled that out. And then I retaped it up. I felt what was in there, which was a lot of plastic uh, containers and things like that, but I have no idea what those actually are. We are going to discover it together. So let's get into this little cut up here that I already opened up and see if we're gonna get our money back. And we will start with this big plastic piece feeling right here. And we have a 20th century nickel collection. So we have a Liberty nickel, which 1905, yep, 1907, sorry. We have a Buffalo nickel, 1935. And I don't know if there's a mint mark there. So a 35 Philly, Liberty nickel, 07, there will be no mint mark, obviously. We have a War nickel, 1943P. And we have a standard Jefferson nickel right here, which is a 1961. So, you know, things like this, you will find these being sold on like infomercials and collector sets and they doll them up to make them look pretty and make you pay way too much for these. I would imagine that this at retail originally sold for like 10 or $15 or maybe even more. But I wanna look at what I would actually want to pay for something like this if I wanted it. So let's say I actually wanted to own this thing what would I be willing to pay? And what I would be willing to pay is probably a dollar twenty-five to a dollar fifty for the war nickel, seventy-five cents a piece for those. So let's call it one fifty-three, and that's a nickel. So I would probably pay four dollars total for this if I wanted it because it is in this display. But I sure certainly wouldn't pay the fifteen to twenty dollars that this probably sold for. I'm going to call this four dollars. So we are not starting off strong, but there's much more in here. $4. Next up, we have the lost Kennedy half dollars. What do they mean by the lost Kennedy half dollars? We have a 2002 and a 2003. Oh, here we go. So the lost Kennedy half dollars, the 2002 and 2003 Kennedy half dollars were not released into circulation. That is accurate. Instead, they were struck in very limited quantities and were made available exclusively to collectors. These are what we call NIFCs, not intended for circulation. Uh, I mean, they did NIFCs all the way up through 2019. You know what I'm saying? So why? And this looks like 2012-004. So this looks like it was made in 2012. So why the historic... It, so it says this historic collection includes both of these lost Kennedy half dollars. Why would it just be 02 and 03? When this was made, there was four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven as well, and probably twelve. You know, depending on when this came out in 2012. So why would it only be these two? There was a lot more NIFCs than just 2002 and 2003. Either way, if I wanted this collection with Kennedy's portrait right here, I'd pay fifty cents a piece for the half dollars. Well, they are they are at least BU, so we'll say seventy five cents a piece for the half dollar, so a dollar fifty, and uh, you know I'd pay a dollar. We'll say, we'll say if I wanted this thing, $3 is the most I would pay. So we're at $7 and I am probably being generous. I'm sure there's gonna be comments down below of people saying, why would you pay $3 for that? I'm just saying, if I actually wanted it, I mean, the people are selling it's gotta make money. I'd pay $3, but that's where I would stop. All right, so next up we have, this is a black envelope. 
Harry S. Truman Coin and Stamp Collection. I'm not going to read this entire thing here. If you want to pause it, there you go. It should be in 4K for you. Uh, it is. So we do have a Truman half dollar, or a Truman gold dollar, I should say. So these right here in BU condition, which this certainly is. I mean, you generally find these for around two bucks a piece. So we're going to call it two bucks there. Uh, I don't know much about the stamps. I don't know anything about stamps to be say. So I don't know if this is like a re like a reprint or whatever. But let's just say if I wanted this, I'd pay three dollars for it. Three dollars total. Uh, two dollars for the coin. Dollar for the display. So we're at five, nine, twelve. We're at twelve dollars so far, guys. And that's me being generous. Again, the, in reality, if you were to walk into the coin shop and buy these coins without these displays. Uh, we'd have probably a dollar fifty for the war nickel, seventy five cents a piece. So we'd have three, four fifty, six fifty. So we'd really only have six fifty if you bought the coins without the displays. But five nine twelve is where we are. Me being generous, but I just wanted to be, you know, clear with you guys. I do understand the value of these coins. I'm not just trying to be overly generous. Here we go. All right. So we have the historic Buffalo. Buffalo Nichols Midmark Collection. So we have a Philadelphia, a Denver, and a San Francisco. And they do have dates. So we have a 37, oh, says up top, 37S, 36 Philly, and a 36 Denver. And there's no three legs or half legs. All right, so yeah, I mean, here you go, guys. Right here, again, 75 cents per coin if you walked into a coin shop, so 225. Uh, let's say three dollars if i wanted to buy that set you know what i'm saying three dollars there if i wanted to buy that set we're doing well let's go what is going this is the weirdest coin collection uh coin mystery pack i've ever opened because now we have another one of these envelopes and we have so we have an ike we have a uh, Su uh susan b anthony a sacagawea and a washington presidential dollar we aren't we already talked about the value of these. These Washington, if they were, if these were nice in BU, and this one doesn't even look as nice as the one in the other set we had, you know, you're looking at two dollars for these. But this one doesn't even look BU. This one looks like it was circulated. So one, two, three, four dollars. Uh, assuming that's that's not a Cheerios dollar, I I find that highly unlikely, but it would be cool. This was made in 2015, so they did know about the Cheerios dollar by then, I believe. And and by the way, this says first circulating U.S. dollars. So. Like, what about the peace dollar or the Morgan silver dollar or the seated or the trade? What? There, there were more circulating U.S. dollars before 1971. But uh, let's pull this out and see. First circul yeah, it says first circulating U.S. dollars. So we have this collection brings together the first year of issue of the four modern, modern. Okay. So the keyword here is modern because... Yeah, these technically, I mean, they stopped minting the peace dollars in 1935. We didn't have, you know, dollar coins again until 71. So that makes sense. So this is the first circulating. They should be more clear. Uh, but right here, it is clear. It says the, the four modern U.S. dollar coin series, Ike, Anthony, Sacagawea, and the presidential. So five bucks if I wanted it in this display, guys. Five dollars. One, two, three, four, five for the display. That's all I would pay. I mean... This, this is the, so far, this is the weirdest uh, mystery pack I've ever opened. And do we even have silver yet? We have a war nickel. We, we don't even have silver. All right, well, we have a war nickel. All right, next up, this feels very big. We have, well, we have silver. The Morgan Silver Dollar Collection, 1901. And we do have a 1901 Morgan. This thing is as tall as the day is long. Wow, look how flat the uh, Liberty is there. On the reverse of the coin, yeah, yeah. I mean, pff, this thing, <laughs> it's super cool. Uh, 1901 oh, it looks like there's a mint mark there. Man, in this condition, this heavily circulated, though, like, you, you can find, the, I mean, you buy these basically for close to melt, like maybe a few bucks over. Uh, you know, silver dollars even in coal usually have a few dollar premium on them, but sh shoot. Yeah, I mean, what were, what would we say in this, like, 22 23 dollars? If I wanted it in this, I'd say $23, but I really, why would you even want this thing? Because it looks like it has these holes here to put them into a, like a folder or a binder. But uh, yeah, there you go. 1901 Morgan Silver Dollar Collection. $23, but we do have silver. So 23, 26, 31, 34, 35, 36, 
39, 40, 41. I don't remember exactly how I valid these. We're, we're like 41 bucks right now. All right, let's go next up. We have, okay. Well, this is actually silver. We have a United States Mint 50 state quarter silver proof set. Looks like it's sliding out here. And there's a COA and yeah, all right. So we actually have some real silver. We have about an ounce of silver here between these five quarters, not quite, but really close. Uh, and you know, these are the five state quarters for 2007 minute and 90% silver. Now these usually go for around $25 a set or so. I'm going to check eBay comps just to be sure, because I don't know exactly where they are today, but let me look. Okay. So we have one that sold recently on February 10th for $26 plus 443 shipping. I, I was about right on. So 25, you know, we'll call it $26. I'm not going to include the shipping because we paid shipping for the pack. So we're trying to get our full 106 back. But uh, that's probably the best thing we've opened so far. Uh, $26. But we have found silver. So two in a row, we have silver. So there's actually silver in the pack. Uh, there's credit for there. So we have well over an ounce of silver. Probably about 1.6 or so ounces if I'm doing math correctly. All right. Next up, we have... Uh a certificate of ownership for united states of america legal tender the silver wing liberty so a mercury dime she is 1943 43 mercury dime and what is this so we have the silver wing liberty that has the designer the purity the weight the original issue price the increase in value 1125 percent so that'd make this that would make this worth, uh, what, $11.25? Hold the phone. I'm actually editing this video right now, and I got to this part, and I realized that 1125% of $0.10 cents means that this company valued this item at $112.50, not $11.25. What? This is a... It's it's close to uncirculated. I looked at it closer. I haven't taken it out. Close to uncirculated 1943 Mercury Dime. That's it. That's all it is. It is worth a few bucks, certainly not $112. All right, let's get back to the video. Sorry about the mistake. I was doing it on the fly. So $11.25 according to this. Uh, I don't have any idea when this was made, but it does look kind of old. Signed, this is, let's see, Depository Control Department, Vault Facilities of Lindenwold Fine Jewelers. Okay. Well, these probably aren't worth 11 bucks in this condition. It is definitely toned. So it's been in there a while. Being inside of this definitely has toned this up. And uh, I mean, it's nice, but you know, three bucks. Am I being fair there? I mean, it's cool, but I mean, this is this is a very like exorbitant way to say, hey, you have a mercury time. <laughs> so three dollars we're gonna call it three dollars guys maybe i'm being too generous again i've already lost track of where the value is we'll put the value tracker up on the screen for you guys because i have no idea and actually i think we're about done i think there's only one thing left yeah oh last thing Ooh, did we even get there all right here we go 1975 uncirculated coin set are both in here okay oh oh ah oh, we had multiple things okay well, this was in there as well, so we pulled out two things at the same time. We'll double check the envelope, but we'll look at this. So we have a set, 1943, uh, so Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco steel sets. These clearly, if you look at those, have been re-zinked. And what that means is these usually rusted out because they were steel plated with zinc. The zinc would wear off, the silver or the steel would start rusting, I should say. And so they would put these in tumblers, polish them up, remove the remove the rust, and then they would re-coat them in zinc to make them look nice and shiny again. That's what we have here is three re -zinked. You can buy these for a quarter all day at a coin shop. I'll call it a dollar since the whole set is there. So a dollar for that. And then moving on to the 75 min set, looks like we have two Eisenhower dollars, obviously two half dollars, two quarters, two dimes, two nickels, and two pennies. So you have one, two, three, 50, 60, 70, 80. So three dollars and 82 cents. These usually go for, I want to say seven or eight dollars. Uh, let me check sold comps though, just to be sure. And yeah, there was one that sold uh, on February 12th. So yesterday as I'm recording this video for seven dollars plus 443 shipping. So we will add seven dollars to our total and let's double check the envelope. And that's all she wrote. Alrighty then, well I just went through and edited the video, added up all the totals that I said in the video, and it looks like we are at $78. Now given that I paid $106, that is a loss of $28.
Now, I may have been a little unfair to this Mercury Dime. Maybe it's worth four or five. Maybe. No, I really don't think it was unfair to the, the Silver Dollar. I'm sorry. I mean, that thing is so worn. And honestly, I was a little over fair to some of this other stuff because most people don't care about the display and the packaging. And that's what this is. This was a very weird mystery pack with a bunch of weird display packaging and really not worth the time but guys let me be very clear let me reiterate why i do the mystery packs on this channel it's so that you don't have to i do not recommend buying mystery packs off of ebay uh, unfortunately you usually end up with stuff like this for every good one that you hear about and i have had a good one here and there but for every good one that you hear about there's 10 bad ones so why even bother with it if you have 106 dollars that you want to spend on coins just buy the coins that you want. Buy the coins that you need for your albums or your folders or your collection, that missing date, whatever it is. Uh, mystery packs like this. Now, if I will say, I will argue that if you like opening Christmas gifts to yourself, if you like the mystery and the suspense, then there is value in entertainment. I mean, we pay, you know, billions of dollars a year to entertain ourselves between video games, going to movies, you know, sporting events, so on and so forth. So there's value in entertainment and you need to determine for yourself how much entertainment value is in doing something like this and then factor that in when you do it. For me, as a YouTuber, I make money back on the ad revenue for you guys watching the videos with me. So that the cost of this pack is subsidized by you guys watching. So thank you if you're watching this far in. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. But I would not recommend if you are just wanting to spend money and get value for your money, if you're wanting to get the most value you can for your money, I don't recommend mystery packs from any source, whether it be eBay, online, or even my own website. I don't recommend, you know, my own product. They're really just for if you really enjoy the mystery of opening these up. So, you know, put value in the entertainment, but outside of that, stay away. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor. Make sure you like and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this mystery pack. If you're wondering the seller of this mystery pack, as you guys know, I don't reveal them, but I will put a screenshot up during editing of what the description looked like. So if you want to go and find that description, you'll know which one I bought. And, uh, you know, I, well, I don't recommend ordering one for yourself, but you get the idea. All right, guys, thank you again for watching. I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you soon.